yeah. But Allah yeah. uh, created a system for this. You're right. I mean, everybody can have different opinions. That doesn't mean anything. There is only one Quran. And the system of God is, there is always a leader of the Muslims. For example, at the time of the Prophet, that was our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then there was Khalifa, uh, the four Khalifa. And there must be a leader. The lack of central authority generates these problems. Of course, because of the lack of central authority, there are many different sects, many different groups, many different uh, interpretations. For example, there are, uh, there are four, as you know, four Sunni sects, Hanafi, Hanbali, Maliki, and Shafi. Something which is haram for Hanafi, sometimes it is halal for Maliki, and what is uh, haram for uh, Maliki sometimes, it is haram for the Hanafi. So this is, of course, there is something is wrong. There is something is wrong, and that, that this happened because of the lack of central authority. What do you think? A union around the leader, which is liked by everybody, not like a uh, voted or somebody who is... Of course, it cannot be a Sunni leader because it will, if it will not be accepted by the Shia. A Shia leader will not be accepted by Sunni or Hanafi, Hanbali, Maliki, and Shafi. This is something which is chosen by Allah and liked by everybody, which is always on the side of Islam. Um, well, who, you who know, is actually I, 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 respect, I respect your opinion. I, I will have to disagree on the sense of needing a central authority. I think we may agree because what I agree on is that as Muslims, certainly we can't just create laws out of nowhere. You know, we need to respect scholarship. We need to respect academia. Every faith, the, the Jewish faith has respect for its rabbinical teaching and its Talmudic evolution of law and, and teaching and authority. Uh, uh, Christianity does and its various churches have respect for canonic discussions of law, etc. But still, those are academic. I would never want that central authority. And I wouldn't want one central authority. I want as a Muslim. Remember, imam doesn't mean, you know, authority. Imam means prayer leader, and it also means teacher. So Absolutely. I think we should have some right. central teachers. But I don't want, I, I believe that one of the differences of Islam from some other faiths is that we don't have any clergy. That ultimately the relationship in Islam between an individual and God there are no intermediaries. There's no confession. There's Definitely. no nobody that our sins are very personal, and it's between me and God to determine if what I did I should feel guilt for or or, or anything like that. So ultimately, there there can't be an authority. There needs to be respect for scholarship, and and we we teach our youth that yes, you can ask. We tell them, you know what, ask four or five imams their opinion, and then come up with your own sixth opinion, and 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 use that as a as a uh, uh, bring those opinions together because Islam is a logical faith and you can come up with your own rational interpretation of what's Quranic and Hadith and Sunnah etc. So I, I would say that and if you look at schools of thought at the time when the Islamic world was at its most creative in science and, and literature and philosophy and poetry there were thousands of schools of thought of Islamic law and then as it dissolved and, and narrowed, there became four in the Sunni and then others in Shia, etc. And, and we're left with just a few. And I think that is one of the main symptoms. There used to be thousands of schools of thought, and now there's just a few. And we need to have more diversity of ideas. All right. Okay, thank you.